If you don't believe in conspiracy, then you shouldn't be looking at the Underground Railroad. The New World Order Auction and Negro Sales $100 40 years of Negro Man Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment Moon posting a flag and playing golf There are three truths, the dreadful bitter truth, your truth, and the Clifton Bradley Underground Railroad's truth. We as the media, mission, and duty is to make you aware of what's happening in our city, community. All aboard, all aboard, come on up Clifton, and beat, beat the drums. Bam, greet you in the words of Assalamu alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you, and I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names. Peace be upon them both because they were both messages of truth and reality. You're looking at the Underground Railroad television show. We come on every Saturday night at 10.30. We'll say hi to the people all over the globe that's looking at this on YouTube, Facebook, Googles, getting information on Twitter, and thank God for social networks, networking. <laughs> and I have some great guests here today. This is a part two. We're going to talk about world issues, and I want to thank both of y'all for accepting the invitation. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Amen. I'm Dr. Lee Warren from the Plum Show. That's a Powell Lay Down Man show. It comes on every uh, Thursday night here in Chicago, and we also put some of these up on YouTube uh, Thursdays, I mean Wednesdays, from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Can TV, and it's re-shown uh, Thursdays from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Again, that's on Plim, and we have a website at uh, www, I think it's plim2.org. Okay. I'm Salim, Salim Muwakil. Um, in these times, uh, magazine, WVON Radio, 1690. I'm on from 7 to 10 on Saturdays. Um, and uh, I do a monthly column in these times. Work, look at this, listen to this, work your mind, muscles, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. right. I mean, you know, you, you have to you have to exercise those powerful mind muscles. That's both, right. Both of these sh both of these shows. That's right. And you know, we in the we in the era of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, he is the president of the United States of America. I I walked into um, the VA hospital and saw his picture. It just didn't look right. Mm -hmm. But he's the president. You know, what's your take on that? And do you think that the Russians actually have something to do with what transpired? Dr. That's, most, that's the most <laughs> absurd thing I've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> uh, if they can come over here and, and, and change an election and, uh, um, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, Hillary spent almost a billion dollars on the election and the Russians influenced an election, election from a distance. They better hide the uh, Russians uh, uh, da, 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 as a uh, as a. Uh, uh, this is picture right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should that should they hide the Russians, which you know that's absurd. I mean, the Democrats lost the doggone election, and uh, they are, uh, are basically at odds against everything that the Republicans do. I, I'm I'm a political atheist, as they say, you know, a libertarian, but. Uh, uh, they just lost the election, and uh, 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 but now they, they, they're there to oppose whatever this man does. That's how simple it is, and anybody can look at it just from a biased point. Uh, uh, yeah, they're on the phone right there. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, really when you look at it, there's only one party, and both parties are controlled by the bankers, so, you know, what can you say? <laughs> what do you think um, about well, that, Brother Salim? You uh, well, I think that um, Putin, uh, Vladimir Putin is a is a, a wise leader of, of his of, of Russia. He's trying to he's trying to um, inject confusion into those who are against him. He wants to he wants to diminish the power of NATO. He wants to diminish the power of EU, the EU, the uh, European Union. And and since Trump was saying many things similar to that, he he expressed support uh, for Trump. And, and, and what, what the Russians want to do is exactly what we want to do to Russia. I mean, we've been involved in Russian elections ever since the, the end of the Cold War, 
And um, now we, we are angry that they are trying to influence these, the, the, this election to, to benefit them as all nations do. They want, they want uh, leadership in other nations that are beneficial to their country. And that's what Russia is trying to do. They tried to do it in, uh, in, in, in the Netherlands. They tried to do it in France recently. Um, and, and they tried to do it in Hungary and Austria, yeah. where there, there are similar kind of populist movements to, to what's happening in, in, in Antarctica. <laughs> well, wherever they can do it. <laughs> and so um, I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to be alarmed about. And, and as, as, uh, as Dr. Warren points out, I think that the, the, the liberal establishment, as well as the conservative establishment, was a little bit queasy about Trump. They didn't know exactly where he was coming from. Uh, and so they, they were um, opposed to him in, in, in many ways. Uh, the liberal establishment, establishment is still opposed to him. Mm -hmm. Conservatives have warmed up a bit to him because he's warmed up to them. You know, he's, he's embraced some of their programs. Mm -hmm. But what, let me ask you, both of y'all, why is it impossible to believe with all these cyberspace attacks that you cannot influence an election? Because I think something that's happening in cyberspace right now, you know, yeah. um, you cannot manipulate. Why? Because Korea has a, a team of cyberspace people set up specifically to disrupt societies and cultures. I'm talking about the signals that are being sent out through the internet. Why is it impossible to believe that Russia didn't have anything to well, do Well, first thing, a lot, a lot of the systems are, 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 are not hooked up to the internet. I mean, when you go in to vote, you, those machines are not hooked up here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You just you put a pa piece of paper through and, and, and it's tallied. Okay. And then, I mean, maybe on the long term, uh, uh, it, it's sent to the uh, uh, state and local when they correlate the stuff. But mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, anything could be influenced. But I, I mean, uh, to the point where, let me say it this way. What, what they claim Russia did at a distance is not like what uh, America did in Africa, the Lobomba, you go through and, and appoint places like that. It was nowhere like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they, when they say that they influenced the election, most people have no historical backing to understand how America went in and actually did it. And Russia had nowhere near that type of uh, influence on the election. It, you know, that's what I, I'm referring to. When uh, they go down and jack a place, mm -hmm. assassinate somebody, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and then just like, how you think Gaddafi and, and Saddam got in? Well, I, be, I believe they used to be CIA operatives. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. But they didn't want to follow orders anymore. Uh, that's exactly right. They got to or they gave up their nuclear weapons. That's another thing. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Kim uh, uh, mm, Jong-un is not going to do it yes. in North Korea. He's not going to give it up. Yes. He, he, that, that's, the, that's the formula for, for extinction. Yes. You know, but you for know, overthrow. Do you, think, do you think that it's impossible? to influence an election. No, if no, you I, have I, individuals I mean, that are technically skilled. Yeah. I, I think they did have a, an effect. I think by, by releasing some of Hillary's uh, um, e in, emails. Yeah, emails. I, I think that that, that, you know, that influenced some people. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. But I mean, I, I don't think it had that a cataclysmic effect. Exactly. It did have an effect, though. And, and I'm not mad at Russia for that. We, we, we do, as the doctor pointed out, we've invaded 50 countries since World War, World War II. Not invaded, but overthrew 50 countries since mm -hmm. World War II. Now, Russia has done nothing similar to that. And, and not only that, but we, we, we're deeply involved in Russia right now. USAID and all of those uh, so-called um, uh, 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 non-official groups um, are, are in Russia right now. Uh, and try, trying to influence their election, trying to influence their political system. Uh, all countries do that. Okay. And you know what, you know what, getting to, getting to Mr. Kim, let me ask you an example. If I had a machine gun and you had a slang shot and I told you, man, you better put away your slang shot, that's going to be problems. Did you put away that slang shot or that gun? About Palestinians, oh. man. That's, 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 that's what you're talking about there. That's, that's the... 
the okay. struggle right there between between Israel and the Palestinians. Yeah. North Korea is much more, they got more than slingshots. That's using it, using it as no, a, no, but you're right, you're as right. example. If you had a gun and I have a bomb and I tell you to put it away and you better not practice with it, what you gonna do, both of y'all? Well, the, oh, well, let's go, we don't have to do it theoretically. We can look at it historically. Uh -huh. When Cortez came to, uh, came to uh, Mexico and uh, South America there, uh, uh, well, what did they have that the, uh, all the uh, Aztecs, the American Indians, as I say, Indians had, they was no match because they had the fire, they had the, the, the Indian called the fire stick. Yes. They had the gun, mm -hmm. and they had the power, mm -hmm. and they had the cannons. Those mm -hmm. people were no match for uh, uh, Cortez and his army because they had the advanced technology, and they lost, and they got slaughtered. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that, you know, that's the, that's the way it goes. Powerful technology in advance to uh, overwhelm uh, anybody that they want. And, and then what they want, what they want, the gold and the silver, and they took it. Mm, gangster did, huh? Okay. <laughs> and they, they tried to wipe out North Korea, um, you know, right, right after World War II, when, when, after they got the Japanese out. See, Japanese were, they, they, and they were the ones who, uh, Dr. Warren was talking about, uh, other cultures um, uh, dominating certain called well the japanese dominated koreans like crazy mm, that's they, right they, they they even had their women um giving up uh, going, going to japan the japanese soldiers a comfort woman they call uh, right uh koreans and so um when when the, when the japanese were kicked out of korea the, the u.s bombed they bombed north korea like crazy because the russians helped the japanese help help korea kick the japanese out okay. um and and, and uh after World War II, the U.S. came, mm -hmm. and they took over South Korea. Mm -hmm. So we had the Russians, North Korea, the, the U.S. and South Korea, and then uh, all hell broke loose, okay. man. And this country tried to wipe out North Korea blatantly, um, bombing them with amazing uh, tonnage uh, of, uh, of munitions. And, uh, and so they, they, they still remember that, man. Yeah. Well, you know something, they have made Mr. Kim of Korea out to be a sick man. Yeah, and, they've always done And that. should he give up his, his, his nuclear program, or do they have the right to be a sovereign nation? Well, the problem is simply this, is, uh, See, he's been cut off from all trade. Uh, 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 they have sanctioned him to the point where you look at them people there and uh, they stun it. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? Trade. Mm -hmm. There's no meat, there's nothing going in, there's no meat, there's no food. I mean, he has to beg for food. The only way he gets food in there, he from has China. To, he gets very little food from China. When he gets his food primarily from uh, the UN, because they, they say, well, you know what he does? He uses the, the threat of his nuclear weapons uh, uh, to get what he wants. Now, that doesn't run out, but... Uh, uh, but the, the other thing is that, you know, it, free medical care, free schooling, free housing, Korean, North Korean citizens, all of that is free. But let me tell you about that. All of it. I would take that to live in live in total poverty. That's what well, happened to Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. Well, I know, I know. Uh, communism see, is something that uh, you know people say. Now, well, that, you, you t but you're talking about relative values here. Some people say, well, that's the trade-off. You, you trade your you, you trade your political autonomy for for economic security, um, and and so you you make that trade-off. And that's what North Korea is saying. Well, that's what my people do. That, but, you know, if you want free schooling, if you want free education, if you want free medical care. You have to give up some of your political autonomy. But listen, not only that, what you give up. You see how stunning those folks are? Yeah, yeah. But that's the U.S.'s fault there. The U.S. has completely boycotted. They, they forced them, they sanctioned them into almost a, 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 a prehistoric existence in terms of their relationship to trade. They can't trade. They can't, they can't accumulate capital. They have no access to capital. Well, that's the same way they did in Cuba. Exactly right. And that's the same way that... that, that Russia that, helped Cuba for a while uh, and, uh, until uh, the Cold uh, War uh, was uh, over. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 and there is very little progress. I, I mean, when you talk about most people, when you're dealing with a communism system, you're talking about a system that, 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 that's very tyrannical and everything is central planning. There's no innovation. There's no, hung, there's no hunger. Uh, wait a minute, there's no innovation. 
But that's it, totally no would, would, would you rather innovate or die from hunger? Well, that, that, that's uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. That, see, that, that's the <laughs> but, but, trade off. That's the trade off. I know it's yes. a trade off, but it's imposed. But it's, it's true. It's, it it's, is it's, true. It's, it's being imposed upon them. That is true. And yes. uh, it's not something that was accepted by the people. You know why it was imposed? We, the United States, imposed communism on most of those countries. Well, we f we we For enabled them. To, and we we to enabled them to have communism. That's right. That's, That's true. That, that, that. Okay. Now you know, um, Donald Trump was saber rat rattling by mm -hmm. sending the task force over there. But I forgot the name of the aircraft. Carrier. First, he sent it in the wrong direction, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and said that it was going there. <laughs> but you know what? Do you think? Uh, do you think that has, did, you know, did, do you, what, do you, what effects do you think that it made? And, and was he bluff, why was he bluffing like that? Was he just, well, show, he, was it just a show for us? Every year they do it. South Korea, Japan, U.S., and a lot of those other affiliated principalities in that area um, always do those threatening things in North Korea and in, in the South China Sea and in, in, in those environs. They do it every year. But well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen eventually. North Korea and South Korea are going to unite. Just exactly like, right. Less exactly. like East they, Germany he, and West Germany. There you was just a, an election in South Korea, and he's talking about reconciliation. So uh, putting those two together, because North Korea doesn't have the technology. I mean, they are so ancient. You know, yeah, they're, they're in bad shape. You know, and for its modern technology and development. And Martin South Korea Con is just, the, just the con quite the contrary. That's just quite, quite and the if contrary. And they, they, if they get together, man, that's yeah. going to be well, serious I mean, sense. What did you uh, think sentence. about, you know, I was, look, I was looking at Donald Trump on television and they asked him, did you send a warning to Korea? He said, all I can see is they better behave. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> well, well, you know, that's, all, that's always been a part of Americans, uh, 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 you know, part of uh, the whole, I think the thing can be reconciled. Uh, but it takes a giving on both parts. It's real serious. Uh, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll say this, I don't think he's a man to take that, take that uh, uh, country into a modern, what you call, usually when you get a tyrant, you know, you, know, you get a revolutionary. He, he, he's, he's been used to uh, fight and everything, but for us, adapting a nation to another, taking it to another level, he's not the person to do it. Maybe and, not. And, and, most, and most cases, it doesn't work. Maybe not, but if, if uh, you know, Trump has, you know, I'm, I'm saying there's still, a, there's still a sliver of hope that Trump's unconventionality will allow some, some uh, progress in, in the dialogue. But he did say he would meet with the Right, guy. he did say that. That's and that's first, something that's, that, very, that, unusual that's, that's very unusual because he he said the he U.S. hasn't meet, done that in the past. In the past, he said he would meet with him, sit him at the table and meet. Right, and if that happens, man, you, who knows? It might, you know, it might the whole be. thing may change. I mean, uh, they realize that uh, that country is really very undeveloped. Very it unde is. Uh, undeveloped. And you know, in Syria, you know, I'm shifting to something else, mm -hmm. Syria. They're saying that Assad, which he's an enemy of the United States of America, that he gassed his own people, killed his own people. And I'm believing that he didn't because if you know that the world is looking at your actions, I don't believe you will gas your own people, the international community. What is your opinion about well, that? What's quick. the outcome of Syria? That whole thing, that thing was, uh, 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 first thing, Somebody, if anybody wants to know, understand what sear, searing gas do, they look it up on the internet. First of all, you can't use your hands and go and wash that stuff off. Yes. So when they said that that was searing, that's all a propaganda ploy to go in and, 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 and jump on those folks. And we're not even talking about Sadat. That was not searing gas. It may be some other gas, but don't say it was. Sarin, right. and, and, and all those people are dying. Because if that's not gas, what gas is it? And the whole thing may be a, a, a Hollywood ploy. Some, some folks are making that point. You know, Syria, um, what we don't talk about much about Syria is, is a lot of it is sectarian. Um, right. Sy Syria has been seen as an Arab country, uh, a Sunni country. Right. Um, and, and, and Assad and his, the whole Assad clan. A sect clan, and a Sunni. It, Right, but the whole Assad uh, clan is Alawite, El which Alawite. is Shia. Right. And, and, and so there, there's always been that animosity between the Sunni majority in Syria and that Shia leadership. Um, and although Alawites are not really Shia either, they're a little different thing. Right. But, but the, the point is, is that 
a lot of it is sectarian, and we, we, we don't talk about it in those terms often. Right. One of the reasons that's, that Assad is so um, tenacious and it doesn't want to give it up is because he realizes that if he does, the Alawites are almost they're in danger right. of, of extinction because the Sunnis want to wipe them out. <laughs> they consider them heretics. And so, um, you know, that's what, I, that's what Sir, uh, Assad is fighting for. That's why he's aligned with Iran, which is Shia. Mm -hmm. And that's why um, he has these other uh, kinds of alliances in, in the region. We, we don't talk about it in that way. Uh, and, and so the, 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 the uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS, they're, they're hardcore Sunni. Mm -hmm. and, and so a lot of Sunnis are looking to them to lead the charge against ISIS and so uh, against uh, Assad mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why they're not really anti-ISIS they're looking for ISIS to help them get rid of to get rid of uh, Assad mm -hmm. this country uh, purportedly is anti-ISIS mm -hmm. but it also armed many Sunni groups that became ISIS or or, or helped arm ISIS or Al-Qaeda or any of those those other um, jihadi um, organizations pri primarily Wahhabi uh, Islam. Yeah. Yeah. Wah Wahhabi was serious. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, that was that's part of the uh, Saudi Arabia. And, uh, yeah, exactly right. And mm -hmm. they're the ones Saudi that's Saudi. causing all the hell. And See, Pakistan the, as well. Saudi Arabia is behind behind that mm -hmm. uh, jihadi yeah. turn. And that's what I was going. That was the next question I was going to ask you. But I guess y'all just answered it. I was, was going to ask you. Do you did y'all feel ISIS were operatives? And controlled by the CIA. Oh yeah, that's a that's a known fact. Just like that, you can go back and it's a pattern. To, you can go back to 